everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a wonderful week slash weekend slash time since the last time that you saw my face in a video or saw me if you know you ever speak to me in person. Anyways, as you can see, I am in a new location. This is my back patio in the States. So I've got this lovely brick wall behind me and um, that's not the point of the video. So. so, today's video is going to be on how you can make the most of your first year at university because I feel like a lot of people come into university with the common misconception that your first year is going to be very hard or that you really won't have time to socialize and then other people come in with the idea that your first year doesn't matter, you don't really sh you shouldn't do anything, you should just you know live life to the fullest and start studying in second year and both of those extremes are I, I feel very misleading because it's a balance. Obviously it's going to depend on your course, how much time you have, what you're able to do, whether your course actually counts for your degree or not. Um, but these tips generally are for everyone in order to find a perfect balance between making the most of your first year but not losing sight of why you came to uni. That being said, I want to dive right into it. As a first year, you will most likely be living on campus and I would 100% recommend living on campus if you can't try and live as close to campus as possible because living on campus, first of all, living in halls gives you the experience of being able to meet new people without actually having to go anywhere to meet them. You're literally going to be living with these people for the year and you're going to be seeing them in the kitchen, they're your neighbors, you might need a hair dryer from one of them, you might need some dish soap from the other, maybe someone has laundry soap and you forgot it and you need to do your laundry urgently. All of these little little tiny things that you realize your neighbors are good for. And that brings me to my first point of how to make the most of living on campus. First of all, get to know your flatmates. These people, they could be horrible people and you could not get along with them and I mean that's just extremely bad luck if that's the case and I'm really sorry about that. But if you put in the effort and you know you've got good flatmates, you could end up with friends who you potentially want to live with in the next year and you could end up meeting people that are just so on your level it's like whoa how did we not know each other before it's like we were meant to meet each other kind of thing and really your flatmates could potentially be your family for the entire year and that's so nice because all of you guys are in the same situation you're all living in the same accommodation you know you're all doing the same thing you're in your first year at uni usually and it's just so fantastic to really, I got really lucky with my flat this year, we got along so well, I absolutely loved them, and I'm living with one of them this year, keeping in touch with all the rest of them. So really, your flatmates, get to know them. Another thing is, when you're in your accommodation and you're finally living alone, because Warwick is completely self-catered, there is no better time than your first year on the weekends, on the weekdays when you don't have a lecture, to learn new recipes or learn to cook if you've never cooked before. Invest in a recipe book or use you know the internet because there's so many recipes on the internet. Buy some ingredients that you think you wouldn't usually try or your family wouldn't normally eat. Go vegetarian if you normally don't or you know try a new diet but cook something new because there's no better time to experiment than your first year. You will have more time in your first year than in your second or third. And this allows you to experiment, get the hang of things. So then, you know, you learn your chili recipe in first year. By the time second year comes around, you can make it in half an hour. It's huge portions. It feeds everyone. Everyone already knows they love it. That was my experience, again. <laughs> and it's a really, really fun thing to do. And plus, you're going to need food to eat, so why not make it interesting? I think the next thing on campus, outside of your accommodation, is definitely going to be societies. A lot of people will tell you that they regretted not joining societies in first year, and this is really going to depend on the kind of person that you are. If you're not a naturally outgoing, super friendly, personal kind of person, you might want to go to societies because it will help you get into this kind of stage of speaking to new people because everyone 
is coming into first year as a newbie to the society. They've never been in the society before. So all of the first years in all of your societies are new. And a lot of times, second and third years will join societies for the first time as well. So you're going to meet a lot of new people in the same situation as you. Then again, if you are someone who's very outgoing and easy speaking to just random people, whatever, all the time, you don't have a problem with that, you might not find yourself regretting joining societies. And if you are the kind of person who wants to try something new, societies just give you the opportunity to do that so you don't really have to go looking far for certain courses or doing something because there is a society for almost everything at the university. And if there's something that you want to do but there's not a society for it, if you get enough people to back you up on it, you can actually form the society. So really, societies are a fantastic way to express yourself, do something new, meet a lot of people, and just have a way to spend your free time. You know, I was a part of photography society this year and we did bar crawls, but like photography style. So you take a disposable camera and go to a bar crawl, which is where you stop at different pubs and clubs on the way to a final destination, which is super fun. You don't have to drink either. It's an optional kind of thing. We did a nighttime photography thing with light. So we did long exposure of moving lights. Oh, it was so beautiful. Oh, I, I absolutely loved it. And really, it's, 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 societies as well, it's a great way to get into a community of, if you're an international student or you speak another language, you can find a community of people who are similar to you in language or culture aspects, which is also really nice because sometimes you get a little homesick or, you know, you miss speaking your home language with your family or you miss speaking the language of the country that you live in and this gives you the opportunity to find a group of people that you can just naturally sit and speak with and even that small thing is just really really nice then i think my final thing on making the most of being on campus is find your favorite spot take a day to on your own just walk around campus put in some headphones, play some nice music, and just walk around campus. Walk up to Gibbet Hill if you're not a life sciences student, just to discover it. Walk out to Westwood, find where the post office is. Walk to Lakeside, find the gym, go to Heron Bank. Take one of the running routes or the bicycle routes. Uh, walk your way around campus and find a location that you just think, this is my spot. You know, whether it's a uh, bench or a grassy area or one of the cafes on campus. For me personally, my favorite spot became the library. And as nerdy as that sounds, I absolutely love the library. I am so hoping that it will be open first term this year. I really, really hope the situation is good enough that they can allow that. But the library was just my favorite spot. Five-story building. It's got something for everyone. Silent study areas, group study areas, books. Obviously it's a library. There's a cafe, there's an actual like restaurant cafe, there's another cafe, there's just so much in the library. I absolutely love it. It's also like linked by a bridge kind of-ish to the chemistry physics area, so that's cool. So to do that and discover a place because there are going to be times when you don't really feel like socializing and being in your room isn't always secure for that because you have neighbors, you have people who want to see you, and if you can find yourself this spot you can just kind of go and turn off for a little bit, turn turn off the world, be in your little favorite spot on campus, and I think it's nice having one of those. Obviously though, your first year of uni isn't just going to be based on campus. Warwick University is lovely because it's centered right, well not directly between, but in between two very nice places to visit. One of them is Coventry and the other one is Leamington Spa. When I say Coventry, I mean city center because that's the only place that I actually went, um, and it's quite you know, this, it's quite lively. City center in Coventry is quite beautiful. I think the main point of that would be there's the train station, obviously, so if you ever need to get a train, there's trains just all over, all over the place. Um, you get them from there, it goes to most everywhere. Then there is also the coach station, so if you prefer getting coaches places, uh, there's that as well. And then there's the Lady Godiva shopping center, which is a very nice shopping center, I would say, in city center. There's a Coffee, Cafe Nero and Costa Coffee. There's loads of shops. All of the phone shops are there. All of the services like that. Um, there's a big Primark there as well. There's a Top Shop, I believe. I don't know if it's just men. I think it's both. There's Starbucks there. Um, 
couple of other little shops. There's loads of restaurants there as well. So it's a great place to go out for dinner with someone um, or a group of someone's. And it's just a nice place to kind of get out of uni because when living on campus, there is one thing, it can sometimes feel like you're stuck in the bubble of being on campus. So it's always nice to get out and kind of see a city and experience other people. Uh, one of the clubs, which I'll get into later, is in Coventry, and so that's also fun. And I think the other place that you can go is Leamington Spa. So Leamington is like the student city. It's where most students tend to live in their second years. Um, some do live in Coventry and others live in Kenilworth, which is like between Leamington and Warwick. Um, and Kenilworth, by the way, before I get into Leamington, Kenilworth Castle is a beautiful place to visit during the day if you're ever just wanting a more nature -y kind of trip. nature -y kind of trip? There's not a lot to do there, it's just really pretty. So that's always fun. Um, I know a couple of societies do trips up to Kenilworth Castle, just because why not? You know, it's really pretty. Um, and there's a bike path from Warwick to, from the university to Kenilworth, which is like 15 minutes. So if you have a bike or you, you know, rent a bike because there's an on-campus bike system, I'm going off the trail. That's another thing, bikes. Okay, stop it. Yes. So Leamington. Leamington is like a mini city. It's very quaint. It's a town. There's a cinema. There's also a cinema in Coventry. But there's a cinema in Leamington. There's loads of little shops, there are tons of restaurants, there's a main street which is just, it's so beautiful. It, especially, oh, during Christmas time when they put the decorations up, it's, it's really nice, it's so lovely. And Leamington, if you are, you know, you often will find yourself living there in second year. Personally, I'm not. If you watched my Finding a House video, you already know that. And if you didn't, well, you know it now. Um, but I, I really like Levington. I like spending time. I would go there for brunches with some of my friends. Uh, we have like this favorite place where we think we're gonna go for brunch every other Sunday for sure next year. It's, it's a lovely, it's a lovely little town. I think it's a town. Those are definitely the places to check out, I think around, like near campus, around. Then there's opportunities. Another thing with societies is a lot of societies will do trips. So I know, for example, one of my flatmates was in the History Society, his sock. And they did a trip in, I think, one of the reading weeks. Science students don't get reading week. I passed, history does. And they went to Prague, which I, from what I heard was an incredible experience for her. So also, you know, if that's something that interests you, join societies to go on trips with them, because that's fun. Um, I think the final thing that I really want to cover on how to enjoy yourself in first year is the nightlife because everyone's expecting a good nightlife. Um, I think I've kind of talked about this a little bit in some of my other videos, but this one really, I'll go into more detail, I guess. So I won't lie to you guys, first term, I didn't go out at all until the very last day, so I wasn't a big party animal. I, I don't know, first term for me was, uh, I kind of took my studies really seriously and didn't put a lot into my social life. Second term, I kind of switched that around and put a lot more into my social life, and I think that's where I, that's where you need to start finding a balance where you do a little bit of both. But um, there are quite a few clubs in Leamington, so the big club, I think the best one in Leamington by far is Neon. They do Friday nights, uh, which are quite fun. I went to quite a few of those and. It's really, really fun. Sometimes they do themed nights, so you have to buy tickets to get in. Other times it's usually just a six pound entry, or you can get a um, 12 pound entry with coach there and back. So you get the coach there, I think around 11 is what it picks you up from campus, and then you get the coach back home. I think it leaves at three. Um, so that's, you know, you have secure transport, you don't have to take Uber or anything like that, but there's loads of options still from getting home. So that's Neon, and Neon's quite fun. The club that's directly next to Neon geographically is called Assembly. I personally never went to Assembly, but I've heard both good and bad things about it. I've heard a lot of English people say that they really didn't like it, and then a lot of European people say that they quite did like it, but then I've also heard European people say that they didn't like it at all, so I can't really say much on Assembly. I know that they did Thursday nights and Tuesday nights, I believe. So that's interesting. Um, I guess the other kind of, there's also Smack. I don't know where Smack is. I never went to Smack. There were Smack adverts and like stickers 
all over the halls in uh, in every accommodation. I don't know what it is, don't know where it is, but I think Smack was Tuesdays, something like that, or Thursdays. It was either to get yeah, one of the two. And then there was Astoria, which is where the Spanish Society held all of their parties. So I think that's the only time I ever went there. It's quite small, very crowded, but if you're, if, you know, Spanish people, if you're into Spanish music, that'll be the time to go. Otherwise, I wouldn't go to Astoria just for it. And then the club in Coventry, which is by far my favorite uni club that I went to at all ever, called Caspa. So Caspa is fantastic. Uh, it's got three rooms, as most clubs. Neon has three rooms as well, although the third one's quite small. Anyways, yeah, Caspa has got three rooms. The smoking area, not that I smoke, but if you do, or even if you just like to get a breath of air from clubbing is very big, very open. There's two bars in the smoking area as well, so you know you can get a drink calmly outside if you need. Um, there's fake palm trees and lights, and it's just really pretty. I, uh, I I really enjoyed that, and I think the best thing about Casbah, so Casbah's Monday nights and Saturdays, and they do themed nights as well. So one night it was a candy night, they gave out free candy, free popcorn, they always give out toast at about 2am, and it's just, it's just really fun. I have had some great nights at Casba, and uh, I definitely recommend going at least once with some friends. Um, queues will get long after about 11.30ish, so if you get there, the only thing is you get there at 11 and the club itself is quite dead, but you don't have to stand in a queue. Or you get there closer to 12, you have to stand in a queue for a while, but the club is already lively. And that's where buying tickets in advance, not at the door, um, for Neon. You can't buy in advance for Casbo, but for Neon, if you buy in advance, you don't have to queue for a long time. Otherwise, if you buy at the door, tickets are five pounds normally. In Casbo, you get a student discount for four. Anyways, so that's, that's nightlife. There's also an on-campus club. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't really want to go off campus or, you know, you want to experience the on-campus club is um, the Copper Rooms. So every Wednesday, there's this thing called Pop or every other Wednesday. No, every Wednesday, it's called Pop. I never went, but I know a lot of people who are fanatical about it. They absolutely love Pop. Um, it's basically just Pop music. During Freshers' Week, you will experience a ton of events in Copper Rooms. That's another thing! Freshers' Week, take advantage of it! Because Freshers' Week is the perfect chance to experience loads of societies, experience loads of time, get to meet new people, experience... Just, just really genuinely relax because you don't have any lectures. You might have a couple of introductory ones, which I do recommend going to because they will explain what your course is about and it's just useful information, so later you don't have to ask about it. But other than that, it's literally the time for you to get accustomed to uni, get to meet people, have a bit of fun, have some nights out, all of that. So making the most of your year shouldn't just be about having fun. As important as it is to be sociable and format your social life in your first year, especially if you're doing a science subject or a subject where your degree counts your first year, it is super duper important that you don't forget that you are at university to get a degree. I'm not saying that you should stress yourself out and lock yourself in your room and not socialize at all because that is equally as bad for you. You need to find a balance. So when you have an assignment, don't go out that night. Do your assignment. Say you're going out for another night because there will be tons of opportunities to go out. It's, it's all about finding a balance and you will find your balance on your own. Because as well, not everything is going to be about going out. Like I said, it could just be a night in, learning how to cook, a movie night with some friends, or hang out, and you'll end up experiencing so many fantastic things in first year. I think the main tip in order to make the best of your first year is to just relax, enjoy it, but don't lose sight of your responsibilities. And your first year will go fine. It'll be smooth, it'll be exciting, it'll be new. Okay, I'm done. Um, so, I hope you guys liked this video, and as always, if you did, give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, uh, myapaya2920, just a random combination, put that down below. And I will see you all soon! Bye!